Hi, I'm Jason, and this is a demo for the Smoke Pencil Pro. The Smoke Pencil Pro is sold in two different ways. Uh, you can buy just the Smoke Pencil Pro by itself, and it comes with a Smoke Pencil Pro and one 3 ounce bottle of smoke fluid, or you can buy the Smoke Pencil Field Kit, which comes with the Smoke Pencil Pro, the adapter tip, one bottle of smoke fluid, AA batteries, and a handy carrying case to keep it all in. This is how you use the Smoke Pencil Pro. The first thing you need to do is put batteries into it. Right on the underside here is the battery cover. You would use a small screwdriver to take off the battery cover, and then you would put six AA batteries in the bottom of the, the Smoke Pencil Pro unit. You can use alkaline batteries, but to be honest with you, I recommend rechargeables because it helps the heating element last longer in the device. The next thing you do is fill the Smoke Pencil Pro with fluid. You would take the fill tank and you would take the cover off of the tank and then use the smoke pencil fluid to fill that tank up. Now once you have the tank filled up you'll be able to see in the little viewing window here how much fluid you have in it. Once you have it filled up you just replace the little cover. Now the trigger on the smoke pencil comes with a trigger lock. There's a very small pin. You'll have to remove that first so that you can pull the trigger down. Now once you have the device ready to use you pull the trigger and the device will start generating a little bit of smoke. You'll also see that a little LED light comes out on top of the, the smoke pencil unit. That LED lets you know that the heating element is engaged. If you need a bigger puff of smoke, you would pull the trigger the rest of the way down, and that generates a larger puff of smoke. Now, if you need a very small trail of smoke rather than a large amount of smoke, that's what the adapter tip is for. Basically, the adapter tip takes the large amount of smoke out of the top of the smoke pencil and forces it out of a, a very small orifice out of the top of the adapter tip. There's an impeller fan on the inside that forces the uh, smoke out that way. This way, you can use the smoke pencil upside down, sideways, any which way you need to use it. Uh, and it also gives you a much uh, smaller stream of smoke so you can uh, test more, more delicate situations. Let's go use the smoke pencil in the field and see how it works.